Hello and welcome to the STB Racing League here for the Season 26 Tier 2 Austrian Grand Prix for tonight. Second sprint race of the week of the three. Uh, the only three. We only have the one sprint race of the season. Considering the way these ones have been going since the since tier tier ones have gone and it weren't quite successful. No issues in terms of the actual issues with the with the, uh, the actual sprint race. The car has disconnected. Uh, maybe you might be able to smart see more in upcoming seasons. So interested to see. Uh, tier last yesterday was very successful. Successful. I uh, was the best driver uh, in terms of points throughout the weekend. Well, I say the weekend throughout the two races. So. Coming from my experience, yeah, pretty good. I'm just going to try and add kind of quickly before the qualifying starts. Uh, I'm sure the other guys probably got him anyway. I don't know where he is. He's disappeared. Oh, there he is. Invite to game. Burn. And I'm waiting for everyone to tune their setups, make sure you get it right. I do have the choice of tweaking their setup in between the sprint race and the main qualifying after the sprint race so that if they do not feel something comfortable with the setup they can make adjustments after the sprint race to uh, make any comfort issues also Karen's not in his car so we're staying on board with Hugo then this is at the top of the two turn one DRS now down into turn two, which doesn't really exist, into turn three. Heavy braking, heavy braking, just 100 meter boards, get the car turned in, it's so important to get the traction right. Third gear, uh, starting to score high for going the wrong way, but that is uh, as predicted. Now down into turn number four, it's taking a very wide entry, taking and coming back to the left, this car rotating nicely. Now hog the right side, minimise the uh, track distance. Now, use all the track available. Oh, very, very aggressive turning in point there. A very aggressive, probably not the best steer handling uh, style on this game. Almost goes wide there as Pistols has been. Uh, Pistol was ahead, but he's just, uh, I think, involved in his lap time around there. Uh, so the skill of these drivers are not very good. Uh, here you go. Very good last two corners. Committed, but Mustafa's just seen as they pipped him. And he has by 21,000 seconds. And Maldi was also invalidated, so is Nicholas, uh, Nicholas Mendes. Ah, uh, Shane Pistol as well. Among some other drivers. So Callum, who uh, didn't actually do the qualifying, will actually qualify about midfield, just at the bottom of the midfield. So, yeah, uh, so very, very close to top two, and it's four tenths to Joey returning after a little while. Uh, we've seen him back. Tierman. P4, Sound Effects P5, decent from him. Matui P6, Dark in P7, Danny P8. You've been hoping for a little bit better than that, to be honest. Hamza P9, Avni P10, and then Callum, who didn't actually set, actually technically set a lap. P11, and Blaze Rap is Tharlo, Nicholas Pistol, and Maldi. So Pistol and Maldi. Uh, what the? I just realised it's gone from 12th to 17th. <laughs> just noticed that. I was thinking. Hold on, how is Pistol 19th and Maldi 20th when there's only like 14, 15 people in there? I just realised it just skips like four positions out. <laughs> I was like, I don't remember having a full lobby. I don't like, remember that happening. Hold on a minute. I was, I was seriously confused then for a second. I, was like, I don't remember being a full grid unless I've just extracted some drivers or out of our arse or something. Uh, but I can't anyway because we've limited the numbers uh, to, I believe, 17 or 16. How many drivers there is? I think there's 16 drivers there. If I remember correctly. Yeah. So, oh, simple, mediums, softs won't make it. They'll probably can, but they'll be gone by lap 8. And the hards, although the, you could use the hards. I, I think it's just a, for the first 10 laps, they'll just be a bit too slow. I think they are a bit faster after about lap 10. But I don't think it's worth the loss. I don't think the, the, the gains is is big enough to uh, to go for the for the hards. But some people might. They might want to hold on for the first few laps and then just get have the bit of pace. Formation up then. Everyone's on the mediums. I don't even bother having the tyres up. Just go for the positions. 
So, Mustafa leads the way then. How many people are going to run in AI under this formation lap? Because the AI are oddly good at warming up the tyres, even though they don't really do anything. Apart from drive on a track in a very oddly... But I don't want to know what the Hams is doing. That's some. Uh, that's a new warming up technique. Definitely on the wheel. Couldn't do that on the pad. I don't know if it actually warms up the tyres that much, really. Because it's just more of a... It's more of a... More of a cancer than anything else. Because you're not actually putting any loads with the tyres, you're just sliding them. So you're not actually heating them up, you're just destroying the tyres doing like that. Yeah, there's no heat going to there, you're just sliding the tyres, which is the worst thing you can do. You're just destroying those tyres by doing that. So, I think it's going to be. Uh, it's going to be out of Mustafa and Hugo for this sprint race win. I think if these two have the pace to pull away, I believe that they can go away from themselves and then leave like Jerry Tierman and the tire effects in their wake of that downforce they're producing around this circuit. So Mustafa growing to this good spot then. So everyone is peeling into their pit boxes now. Try and get the last bit of warming up so they can get in. Oh, and I think the Hugo hit the barriers there on the right hand side. Oh, and uh, I think that's the looks about be Nicholas. That might have been having a bit of a moment there. Or it might have been Tharlow. Well, it was definitely a bluish cart. Everyone now peels and ducking the grid slots. Right. That car at the very back row on the left side. It's very angled a lot to the right. So is the Williams. So, five lights then for the sprint race. Five lights and away we go. Mustafa seems to get a decent start. A little bit of wobble. Callum has managed to rejoin. But he's going to miss the start of the, light of the race. As now they navigate for his team. And it's already up past Jerry through turn one. As they navigate through turn two. Piss is already up three places. With two, he has left the session. Uh, unfortunately, we'll have to quickly... Uh, uh, go through here and try and invite him back quickly. And so is Nicholas is also going. There's a collision there with the Haas. I don't know what's going on there. So a Tui invite. Nicholas is on the PlayStation. So I can't even add him. I don't even think I'll have him on there. Oh dear. Oh no, he's on the Xbox. Is he on Xbox? I don't know. I'm pretty sure he's PlayStation. Isn't he? No, he's Xbox. Sorry about this guy. I want all drivers in. Right, Hugo still behind Mustafa. Tayman in Tierman in P3. As Jerry says, uh, re is re pass side effects, I believe. And that's all just jittering for position. DRS enabled. Already, only one lap. Oh, now side by side with Hugo and Tierman. And Tierman's made the place. So, no field, no ERS. No ERS management for the Haas driver. But Hugo definitely, definitely saving his. It is a difficult track to uh, keep your energy levels up. You're on the power a lot around here. There's only uh, really three maybe three heavy braking zones two especially heavy uh, turn one's pretty heavy but it's not exactly a slow speed corner uh, apart from that you're on the power consistently only small lifts everywhere else so saving battery wherever you can is very important especially putting it into none through those high speed corners just, to, just so the battery doesn't use it where you don't really need it but you will lose a bit of optimal lap time, but you can gain it down the straights when you need it, and for the overtakes. And here comes Tierman, he is not sitting around, no overtake needed, just DRS and slitching up the inside into turn three. Masafa gets the outside, the outside is better on traction. And he gains, keeps the position for now, but here comes Hugo. Oh, it's also very close, a bit of cheese grating as I would say, going into turn four. Oh, and it's awfully close, and Tierman has to back off there. He's getting held up. 
Because they're going side by side. Oh, and that's wide for the Hassan to get some gravel on his tyres. That's not going to help him in the long run. Oh, I'd say a short one, to be honest. It should be fine. Oh, he's come back at him. Into turn, the penultimate corner of turn nine. And he gets the position back again. So, the Haas of Thurman is not afraid to make moves in more unorthodox places. So, back into P2 then goes the Haas driver. So, certainly not struggling in terms of race, race pace. It is just one big DRS train back to Danny. To Hamza, sorry. Has managed to push himself back into P9, but he has got a little pistol behind him. Little 9mm pistol. He acts as like he's 9 old anyway. Hamza and Danny side by side. We've also got some side by side action with Hugo Masafa and Tim. And I think it's three wide. It is. And the hat has to back out. It's in the middle. You don't want to be in the middle. It's the worst place to be. Because you will just get sandwiched. Like a sandwich. And now Masafa back on the inside. Surprisingly, it has the speed over Hugo, considering Hugo's on the outside and ahead. I was expecting Hugo to just drive it around the outside and keep the place, but, but obviously, Mustafa has got the downforce to do that. And here comes Tierman again. He's sniffing the back of that Honda engine. And he's going to make the move now. Hugo's just not really making any attempts at defending that. Second place, I think it really is the best place to be. You've got the chance of taking the lead, and you can manage everyone else behind. But here comes Joey then. Joey up into P2. Time's got a three second time penalty. And Joey, a double overtake. And Mustafa goes to the moment. I think he had a bit of a mistake there. And Tierman is now back into fighting for P1. Outbreaks the, ta the Sauber around the outside and he gets the place done back Tierman into the lead for the first time know, Joey now oh Hugo's come out of nowhere around the outside I thought it was Joey's making the move on Mustafa then and then suddenly Hugo's come around there and just eating him up but now he's also got side effects behind him for company yeah flags that's uh, Blaze Rapids gone round at where Valtteri Bottas went off in qualifying back in 20 19. Oh, that's 2020, sorry, that was not, not 2019. Whoopsie! Oh, a bit of a minute there for Darkin. And here comes Hugo again. DRS overtaken able to hurt Mustafa. It's actually into none it. Saving that battery. Oh, Mustafa's got our 10 second time pounds. He's retired. From the session. Around the outside, is he going to make it stick? I don't think he will. A bit of overtake, but he hasn't got much battery left. He's only got 20%. I'm sure Hugo got more. He has 80% there. Around outside, he always be forced onto the gravel. Is is that unfair? Was did Hugo deserve space? I believe he did. I don't think Safa had enough ahead to do that. And Mercedes is round. That's Dad Joey. Joey has fluffed it up. Oh, he's almost hit the Red Bull with him. That's Anthony. I think that might just be uh, wrong place, wrong time for Anthony there. I don't think really Joey can do much about that. He's still speeding up after that mistake. So he's dropped from fighting for the podium to not even in the points. And my Tui and Maldi, he's uh, sort of more tier 3 paced people. Uh, fighting for the last, not even the last point, because the points is for the top eight. Yeah, uh, now side effects is on alongside Darkin into turn for the McLaren. I think just outbreaks himself a little bit. So he's oh, he's been shoved off by so uh, by side effects, and that is not fair at all on Darkin. Even though yes, Darkin made a mistake, but he still deserves space, and space was. Unfortunately, not given. Uh, side side effects affects other people's races. There you go. And um, Saffa's actually now down to P3 here. He's managed to recharge his batteries back up. That's the thing when you are running in the middle or the back of the trains that you can see the battery. But the train after that 
It's now separated into the top three is now pulled away here and I think it might stick like that because I don't think this back train has got the pace and uh, that's I believe by two we, no, it's Nicholas has made a mistake at turn 10 which is a very strange place. There's not anyone spin at the entry to turn 10 before. Tierman's now been re-overtaken by Hugo. Hugo's got DRS but Tierman's using all of his battery back off for now but he's going to be careful he's actually trying to make the move on the uh, on the uh, on the on the Alphatari tour so you could bash you go cash at baseball wherever it's called and uh, I was hoping that the uh, actually being side by side with you go actually stop the stuff of actually overtaking him but it didn't quite work out the way he probably wanted it to Danny I'm sure will be happy for P4 but I just noticed that Cyberpunk actually is carrying damage so I'm not sure, I can't be in from the contact with, um, what's it going to do for it, with uh, Darking, because first of all, the contact happened on his left-hand side, second of all, he was behind him, so I'm not sure how that works out, Hamza's now dived up the inside, there's contact with Danny, or was it because Hamza was a bit aggressive on the inside, or was it because Danny did not give him space? And now there's a lot more cheese grating going on here, there's now Tarifex with that damage end plate, up the inside, been turned into there by Hamza. Uh, it's going to be scrubbly with these two Hank Williams drivers, Starlow. Oh, it's three wide, they're all getting tangled. And Typex is running out of battery. Starlow, he's fighting for the scraps of the points here. No, he's trying to wipe his way through past Danny. Oh, and it's a bit wide for Danny. Oh, and even Danny's getting punted off by side effects now. Even with that damage, side effects is flying through. Definitely an end play. It's, it's not a lot, but it's enough to certainly affect you. Pistol's just hogging the back of these guys with 97% battery. He's going to be like, right, I have got the battery. Now he's got a penalty. Pistol... He might be at the back of this train, but he's certainly not going to be complaining with this battery. I think maybe lap 11, I think he'd be starting to use that. Or if not now, he might start trying picking places off while people are a bit more vulnerable. And Danny's now going to lose another place on P3. Or P4, sorry. Oh, no, and, and yeah, I say Danny's just turning to Pistol there. Yeah, that, I'm sorry, but that's Danny can't do that. that, that that's going to be, If Pistol doesn't get another warning, that, that might be a removal because you can't. You can't turn in at someone in Apex like that. Yeah, Pistol gives it a bit of a, his medicine, just forces him onto the curb. And through he goes. That was clean. For hard racing. Oh, no. The Salbers had a bit of a moment. It's Hamza behind Tharlow. And how side effects is still managing to keep all this pace. With that damage, it must not be that bad then. Clearly, damage is not as bad as it was last game. Last game, you had a yellow damage. And you would have two seconds off the pace. In this game, you can probably get about two or three tenths. Which is real realistic. You don't lose too much time when you have end plate damage. We've seen it in real life before where drivers will have end plate damage and still able to be competitive. Like, shouldn't get yellow damage and just decide your car decides to not want to turn anymore. That's uh, that's when you lose the whole front wing. And here comes Hugo again. Everyone outside, there's better traction out there. And he has got Slipstream off the Sauber as well, but the Haas also has DRS. A bit of pushy shovey and a bit of cheese grating. A bit argy bargy. Not quite round argy bargy on these streets. Not, not quite there yet. And uh, I'm loving this right now. This is actually never even Thalo and Hamza's now side by side. Hamza's not going to give this position up. He's low on battery. Nicholas sets the fast lap and lap time of the race. Not going to get a fast lap point for it though. It's a sprint race. You don't get a fast lap point for that. You should probably watch out because you don't only have so many sets of softs. I think you do get enough, but I want to be careful using a set of softs. Maybe so has another set for the qualifying later on. Tharlo is uh, sliding around it. That's what I like now. It's the train's breaking to two. Because now you get two types of action, not just one. Oh, and the Ferrari's had a bit of a moment. That is Silent Pistol. Not exactly being trying to be discreet, is he? And that's right for the lead. Tierman's gone flying into the back of his P2. Tharlo. Tharlo. Hugo, sorry. Oh, he's going to go down. So it's going to be three wide again. 
And it's going to be contact, surely they're all going to manage to get through. How the hell they've all kept on the truck? And now Hugo's really trying to stick his nose in there. H3 won't. Oh dear. Oh no. No, this is not good. Ah, uh, yeah, uh, that's predicted. Yep, yeah, that has ended terribly, terribly on lap 12. They're all scrapping for the scraps of one point. And it's, well, one gaining one point. And it's through them both off. Hugo's managed to keep it into P2. But Safa's managed to get away with it because he was on the inside. Hugo should have not made it three wide. That was his fault, I believe. Because he's the one that made it three wide in the first place. Uh, and Tharlo goes to the podium and that's all that. Hugo P2, Tharlo P3, Danny gets P3 for then. That's some penalties been dished out. So maybe some uh, beam removed later on, especially with pistols. It's actually three wide across the line there. Uh, Hamza with, uh, I think it was um, pistol uh, Maldi and all that. Maldi and Watiri and all that. I think we're fighting then. But wow, that was uh, certainly an action packed end to the sprint. Wow, I hope for more of that in the race, but at the same time I don't, because I don't know if my throat can handle that. <laughs> I just hope my voice box lines lasts for the end of the race. That was very, very action-packed, I can tell you that. That is your uh, race results then. It was um, Mustafa leading then. With Hugo, P2, Thala P3, Danny P4, Tatarax P5, Hamza P6, TMN P7, Tyler Pistol P8, Darkin P9, Jerry P10, uh, Obviously, top eight get points. Uh, Joe P10, Maldi P11, Watui P12, Avni P13, Callum P14 after being a young most of the race, K Nicholas P15, and Blaze Rapids, I think, is 200th DNF in a row. Right. One shot qualifying again. He will claim this time, he might shake it up a little bit, might have people in different places and different groups. One shot qualifying always catches people off, it's all about keeping it consistent but fast. But at the same time, you don't want to be uh, a bit too ambitious on the lap time, because at the same time, you might not want to fluff it up. Sometimes it's better just to get the lap time on the board, you have only one shot at it, might as well get it right. Off we go again. This time, pistol. Do not invalidate it. Callum has retired or retired from the session if the bomb. Up into turn three and four, then. Oh, sorry, two and three. On the brakes, get the car turned in. Second gear, third gear is normally preferable. Second gear tends to be a little bit. A little bit a little bit inconsistent type of contraction. Now turn four, pistol doesn't use as much curve as some others. Could have turned been a tighter down the apex, but cleaner the lesson it has put him into P1. This is the position pistol would have been normally hoping for. Maybe not so much in P in tier two, normally P tier three, but he's lost a bit of time for there. It's a couple of stabs of the wheel there. It wasn't one consistent sweep of the of the wheel that was. For pistol on the pad there. He's lost a lot of time through that section. But, uh, he just doesn't have any confidence in his high speed sections. He's multiple stabs to the steering wheel. It's not he's making lots of adjustments and it's only P seven. He was P one going through to at turn four. Somehow he's lost six tenths in that last two sectors. That's uh that's a lot of time he's lost in the space of half a lap. You know, uh, you could just tell he was just some he just wasn't turning he was turning in like three or four times in the space of one corner, and that's not going to help your lap times. So, 
So, qualifying, even close this time, four thousandths of seconds, but the top two stays exactly the same as it was in the last qualifying. Mustafa P1, Hugo P2, you just can't separate these guys, or even swap positions. Uh, Nicholas P3, which is very surprising, and that's a very good time for him. Uh, I don't know where that he's got extracted that from. Um, Tim P4, Danny P5, a bit more happy with that, I think Danny will be. Jerry P6, Pistol P7, he'll be disappointed. Sound effects 8th, Maldi 9th, only 8 tens behind. Maldi should be actually pretty happy with that. Dark P10, Blaze Rapids P11, Anthony Callan, Watui, and then uh, I think the rest of the uh, Tharlo and the people who normally just don't uh, do the qualifying sessions. So it's a bit cloudy, I tell you that. I don't know if there's any rain is due. Excuse me. Um, but it's not raining, but it's certainly cloudy. But normally, though, when it is cloudy, it doesn't tend to rain. I don't know why. I always thought that's the case. When it starts cloudy, it doesn't actually turn to rain. It just stays cloudy or just gets sunnier across the race. So we'll wait for them to sort each other out. So mostly on mediums, yeah. So Starlo Hamza actually was to head down the back of that. That's, yeah. But it's right now Mustafa and Tierman both opting for the hards. I'm not sure if that's the way to go. Oh, Hugo's gone hards as well. Right. So interesting this is. Strategy calls in. Opting for the hards. So. They're going to get the problem. It's not a good thing when you're in the lead. It's not a good thing. Because it, it this really puts them on the undercut list. For people to get undercutted. For the back, fair enough. Keep up, maybe try and gain some places. You know, and then when you're free, use some advantages of that free air. And then be quicker in the last stint. Try and gain some more places. But when you're at the back... You know, especially like Austria, when it can get very, very close. You know, the extra, like, what, six laps are you going to have to do on those hards before you pit? It's going to be quite big, because I don't think you'd really want to pit until at least a lap 18, 19 for the mediums. And uh, Nicholas is lagging quite considerably at the moment. I believe Nicholas normally streams his races, but I don't, I don't think that really helps. It doesn't really help that it's all from Brazil as well. Are you guys have seen that and be like, I'm glad I am going to be ahead of him. Because it's, it's not great. So they're all going to be cruising around then. So the ladies are most of them opting for the hard tyres, which is always going to be a bit interesting. And the Ferrari has has a different method of warming up its tyres. It's by, it's by flying through instead of going slow. Just get the tyre temperatures in. I'm not sure whether it's still the case, but the tyres stay the same temperature. Oh, the Haas has spun and crashed. I believe that is Callum. No, it's not. That's Tierman who's just binned it. Luckily, you don't get damage on the formation now. You neutral, you can't go any faster in neutral. There we go. Oh, and you need to qualify if you get that slow. Oh, that's, that's uncomfortably slow into the pit box. There you go. So, race time then. Full 36 laps. like to go it would be nice Fry's pointing all very very much to the right still haven't gone yet not sure what's happening here I'm hoping this is not this is a race this is so I'm not sure what the issue is happening uh, everyone's in the pit box I believe Salvo is a bit off but I think he's been disqualified but still no movement yet I wonder if everyone's tires are going cold they do look like they're in their 60s Everyone's going. I have no hood, so I don't know what's going on here. I don't have any hood. And they're all going through into turn one then. 
don't know where my hut's gone. Oh, and that uh, thing's lacking a lot. As I will navigate now down into turn two. Nelly has rejoined. I have got no hood. I can't find a way to pop anything up. I'll have to live without it for a bit. I'm hoping it maybe pops up later on. The problem is now I can't keep up with the gaps. That's the big issue. And uh, look at my screen. That Alpine just slammed on the brakes, but it's still there. He is lagging really badly. Really, really badly. He's getting drip. It's just, I don't know what's going on here. I don't even know what's going on. He's locking up at every single moment. It's just going straight on. I really don't know what's going on. I'm hoping this all fix itself out. But right now, I have no information. I don't want to leave either because I'm the host. And I don't want it to give it to somebody that might not have the greatest internet. I'm just really lagging up badly. I don't even Nicholas even knows what's going on. I hope he doesn't do a 360 like I did last time. Somebody's still on the track. I swear, a car is still sitting in the middle of that circuit. I wish I had the information. The race seems to be fine. Nicholas just seems to be lagging a bit. Car, this guy. No, 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 no restart. The lobby's fine itself. It's just me having no hood. Uh, I mean. I could restart my game, but like I said, I'm the host of the lobby. And I don't really want to cock it up just because I don't have any information of going who's where and who's what. So, I'm going to have to try and survive for this then. Again, I, I, he's just getting absolutely destroyed. I don't even know how he's managing to race right now. Is uh, Nicholas. He, I really don't even know how he's even able to keep stay with these guys. Cause even though, I, I can see where he is, but I don't know where he is compared to us. Because right now, oh, he's in the barriers momentarily. And I, think I don't actually know who's who either, so I'm just going to have to assume who's who. And I believe that's a staff in the lead then. Up the inside then of. Uh, oh, it's rain! There's rain! If it was raining, why are people going hards for? If it's raining? This question is even more why they've gone to hards. Why have they gone to hards for when it's raining? It makes me question. Oh, and there's contact now. Yeah, I think Nicholas is really cocking his up. He's really badly lagging. I don't even know how he hasn't been taken out yet, just from pure desync. I just wish I had my HUD back. I might have to leave it. I can't commentate with no information. I can't. I don't know who's who, where's where. I mean, I can still, but I'd just rather not. I might I hope there's a safety car or something? Even the game doesn't know where Nicholas is. I think he's actually fallen back here. I'm not sure. It's hard to, it's impossible to tell. Yeah, that, that lag, that's just Nicholas. That, that's just Nicholas. I know he's lost some time now. But uh, that is just Nicholas Mendez. I think it is because he's from Brazil. And he also streams his races, which doesn't help. So, plus his internet might not be great. But like I said, the main reason is he is from Brazil. I mean, you got to think, you got to connect from there. But I, I might have to reset my game. I don't want to, but I might have to. Because uh, it, you, you can still commentate like this, but... When you have no clue who's who, who's where, what, where about the gaps are, you're kind of just having to guess. And, you know, I know that's for staff are leading, and that'll be Tierman, and then there'll be uh, Hugo. But that Mercedes, it, it could be Danny. Or she might be Danny. Who else is the Mercedes? I don't think there's anyone else Mercedes. Yes, it's Danny. Oh, oh, uh... uh there's still a corner grid. I'm now hearing the five red lights. And now off we go. Uh, and there we go. We've got everything back up now. Okay, that fixed it. Uh, <laughs> um, I don't know. It doesn't say what lap it is. Uh, I, I still don't have any of the gaps. But I've got everything else up. So I'm not sure quite how this works out. Um, I, I guess this will do for a bit. I still don't know where the gaps are. So I can still see who it is though, I can still see my staff at. Oh, and there's contacts! 
waiting for the rain stops. So, uh, I guess it's kind of fixed. Uh, trying to think. Oh, there we go. Yeah, there we go. There we go. I think because I pressed the um, the, the the Y button a few times, obviously to select to hide the the the, the, the Y. Obviously, that's got rid of it. So there we go. Fixed it. Boom. Yeah. I don't know. I've still seen that car. It looks like it. I think it's probably gone now. But Maldi's out and Nicholas is out. I'm not sure when Maldi retired. And uh, I'm not sure when Nicholas retired either. But obviously, his lag's not taken out. And what day is that entry? Blaze Rapids, that's a penalty for you, my friend. That you have to take it properly. And that's not the way to do it either. Because it was raining. And that rain house now disappeared. I'm not sure how that quite works out. Whether it was something to do with my little issues. Oh, no! Oh, that was Hugo! Making an audacious dive bomb. Where's Danny? Danny's now down to P9. Well, how did that happen? So I'm not completely out of sync. Oh, and that's Joey hitting the back of Hugo. And now the throw you going, oh, that's bad. Yeah, that's just put all their races out of the window. And uh, I don't think there's enough of a safety car. But yeah, that's not good. So I think Pistol lost the rear there. And it created a chain reaction there and Joey's been caught in it. Definitely one of them got damaged. Joey looks like he's got damage, but continuing. Hugo's also been involved in that. Was also, but he's... I don't know why he hasn't pitted, because he's lost, literally got half his wing. And that's not good, especially track around Austria. So yeah, at least the AI, the um, the HUDs fix itself. Pistol seems got to move on Callum. Not the first time I've seen somebody lose the rear at that long left hander, and then about two cars. Oh, now Mustafa's hams is round. Not sure whether there's contact or whether that was a pure mistake. It did seem to happen early on. Oh, he's almost binned it on the joy rejoining there, but. That is not good for him then. Moyer flags. The Ferrari off. Pistol is lost more time. And now he's now side by side with Avery. Pistol also looks like it. Oh, he's, been, he's hit. He's tagged Avery. Yeah, that's not how you treat your. Um, and Hugo's never. Hugo's out. Safety car. He's out. He's out, out. I'm not sure he's lost. He's not much lost the wheel. And that is good for people like Joey who needs to change their front wing. But thing is now, oh, it is okay. Now it's raining now, so rain is out. But right, do you pit for intermediates? I believe you should. But how quickly it's going to get wet, and how when it does the safety car does come back in. Because the last thing you want to do is burn out the intermediates. You do not want to do that. So it'll be interesting to see what everyone does here. Does anyone pit? Tim and stays out. Safa pits. Callum stays out. Danny stays out. The rest of them all seem to stay out. Pistol stays out. Avery stays out. With Tui, he stays out. Right, so no one's opting to pit yet. I think some people are waiting for to get a bit wetter first before they make the decisions. So, but all people have opted for into straight away. Some have opted for slicks. Starlight's gone on to hards. So he's thinking it's going to be raining for a while. Joey's gone for soft, which makes sense. Because if he doesn't get wet enough, he's got the best tyres out of everyone. Uh, Farley's opted for hards, which is a bit questionable. I'm not sure why he's gone for hards for. Dark has gone into inter. So, with four pits, pit, people pit fitting, Mustafa's gone from hards to mediums. Farley's gone from mediums to hards. Dark has gone from mediums to inters, and Joey's gone from mediums to softs. So everyone's starting a different tyre and gone to a different tyre. 
all four people that pitted all went under different compounds. <laughs> four drivers, four different sets of tyres. Excellent. So, does anyone opt to pit this lap? What is Mark or Jeff saying? I wish I had my own engineer. So I can't see the radar. Steaming stays out. So it's Khan, Danny, Hamza. He's not done the pit. Oh, he dummies it, but he didn't go in properly in the first place. That would have been the penalty if he did go in. Darkin uh, out on the inters. He's going to hope his track gets wet enough. He doesn't want to burn those sides out while it's still dry. Blaze Rapids also opted for the inters, but he should have waited another lap yet because he's going to be burning him out trying to catch up to the safety car. He should have pitted next lap. Dawkins actually going back in here. Not sure if I'm going enters. Or whether he's going back onto slicks. There's another set of enters. Obviously, he spurt those tyres out. Same for Blaze. Burning those tyres out. But the track still doesn't look wet yet. You know what this game's like. It, it tends to be wet before it actually looked wet. It's the opposite on this game compared to the last game. Safety car is in this lap. So, actually, come out. Actually, you pronounce it quite early. Normally, it does it in the third sector. So, Tim will be effectively the now safety car. When does he go, though? It's quite a fast. Resources. this he's gone now a bit slippery oh his head's a bit greasy up there and off he goes Need all that safety car on the top left hand corner that will go the next time there's a yellow flag. Watui struggling in these wet, damp conditions. Not doing holding his name very well. It's still on his old medium tyres. Oh, he's lost it again! I'm surprised people didn't pitch you. I was not far though. He was on fresh, hard tyres. 
Who are loving life here. And oh, the Saab has been punched off by Cal 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 Lunch off Callum. Hands are now lost positions himself. So yeah, I'm surprised more people in the pit, to be honest. Especially people in the mediums. I'm surprised in the pit for hards. I'm really surprised about that. So people like Joey and Tharlo. Tharlo's already up into P2. That's what the fresh tyres does, especially on a wet track. Just able to get the heat up in those tyres a lot better than the worn tyres. That allows also Mustafa and Joey, who are on the uh, softer compound, to catch up as well. Joey will be hoping the track gets wetter sooner rather than later. But not too soon, where you can't take advantage of those extra grippy, softer tyres. Safa made a move on DJ Danny. Oh, there's a big crash in the pack there! There's a Fernando Alonso Kimi Raikkonen situation from 2014, 2015, I think it was. And uh, all of the barriers, I think that was Darkin and Avening. Not good between them. That was a, a quite a hefty collision. There was definitely damage between the two of them, whether Darkin shook on his inters or whether Avening got slippy on his slicks. But like I said, no one's opting for the Inters yet. So people just obviously all don't think it's Inters yet. But it's definitely greasy out there. I can tell it just looks a bit slower than it should do. I thought I was using thirds through the last corner. It's fourth at lowest normally. Apparently I'm still five minutes behind. <laughs> Here comes Solo then. He's got the freshness in those tyres. Takes the move up into P number one. Something he couldn't do yesterday. Jerry, open to be three on those softs, but Nasafa also on those fresh mediums. Diving on the inside, but I think it is a little bit too slippery to make moves like that. And Jerry breezes back past. I think it is just a bit too slippery. Oh, and Joey was closing that gap down. Mustafa was going for it. He's a bit slick. For sure. Still, no one opts to pit. Joey has got a time penalty. <coughs> Side by side then for pistol and side effects. Hamza got past with Danny again. There's a uh, blow puppet having a bit of a moment on his inters. Still ain't working. Now he's going back past. Is Hamza on Danny? A bit of a squeeze. He's going to be a bit juicy between these two. And it's 10 second time penalty. Plays rapid. He's just caused a safety car. He's just caused a safety car in the pit lane. Oh. And has now retired. Well, clearly if he did want to do that on purpose, he wouldn't be retiring, would he? So, I don't know what his motive was there. But now, I think there's like everyone. Oh, Tholo's continuing! Joey's opting to pit, which makes sense, because he probably want to get off those softs anyway. A lot of people seem to be opting to pit, but some are staying out. The staff are staying out. Sorry, excuse me. <coughs> Double sucking for the Mercedes. And for the Williams, also on certain intervals. I know, actually, only two people opting for Inters. The rest are opting for another set of slicks. Right. But the track is actually starting to look a bit dampish now. So I'm not sure how that quite works. The track's on to get wet. So 
So I don't know why people have opted for slicks. Uh, uh, it's a bit debatable. Not sure why, how that one works. And just as the tr and just after the track, it's starting to get wet. Sidex so come back into the pits here. Is it going to be a set of slicks? It is. Despite the track looking like it's getting wetter, he's opted for slick tyres. Not sure quite how this one works out. Track's getting wetter, but people opting for slicks. I'm trying to figure this one out. Hmm. So it's going to stay out for another lap. Danny remains the only one to stay on inters. As the track continues to get wetter. But is it actually wet enough? Does Danny Pitt? No. Nobody seems to be opting for the pit lane. And Hamza's gone in. He's cheated. He's cheated. You can't do that. He's not committed to that pit lane. That's a five second time penalty for F1 Hamza. That is a five second time penalty. Quick clip for that. Copy link, thank God. Or I'll be lap reporting that. It's been done as I speak. I'm going to report that into what incident. Open a ticket. Safety cars in this lap. See how this all works out. Is it going to be very, very slippery? Where does it go? Where's it go now? Leave it, leave it to the last corner again like it did last time. And off he goes. It's all a bit crowded. Let's see what Danny does on his inters. It still looks a bit dry, but it does look like it's getting a bit wetter. It's very, very light rain. Look at Danny. Look at the grip he's got. Look at Danny. Look at him go. And Danny goes up into P5. The Inters are working for now. Over only been one corner. But looks like Danny's got the confidence. And now up the inside goes into turn three. And he's up the inside. And everyone's scrambling on their slicks. And here comes Danny. Oh, no. Don't get caught in the middle. Oh, that's close. And now Danny goes straight three wide. 
going into turn four. Ah, that's going to be close to Danny on the Inters. Up into P2. The Inters are working. Danny's done a 500 IQ. Can he get these tyres to the end? That's all we can ask for now. Danny, he's got the, he's got the advantage already. He's looking like the Inters are the better tyre. It just seems to be working. Mark has screwed everyone over. Who is going to pit for Inters now? Who is going to do it? Because Danny's just breezed past everyone. Surely that's a call out. Surely that's a call for everyone to pit for Inters. But no one's going for Inters. Danny's just passed half the bloody grid and no one's opting for Inters. The only thing I can think of is that these tyres are just warming up better. But DRS has been enabled, but Danny on the Inters is now taking the lead. The thing is though, how long are those Inters going to last in these very greasy conditions? Danny now leads. Unbelievable. I know Danny likes the wet conditions, but he's not exactly wet yet, is it? He's on the right tyres, of clearly. Look at the speed he's taking. He's just gained a, a tenth around there. And he's gained a just under a tenth through there as well. <coughs> Darlight using some ear overtakes to try and keep up here. But he's gained a tenth through there. On Tharlow, really shifting to around. He, keep, he keeps shifting to third. And it's screwing himself over. Danny struggling with the rears there. Clearly the Inters are still not fully comfortable. That's the thing with these Inters. They're probably going to be burning out very quickly. So I wonder how long those tyres can last. I, I wouldn't be surprised if he does have to pit again. Which might be a bit of a shot in the foot. If Arlo is coming back here. It, but I never thought I'd see a set of Inters on a set of slicks be so close. Look at the traction Danny gets though, he's gone. That's 10th right there. Hmm. The thing is, they follow is the fastest driver out of the two. So, it might pace might be a factor. But Danny's taking a very wide, very wide line. It's weird though, it's been raining now for what? About 10 minutes? And it still isn't like wet yet. It, it's, it's weird. I don't know how to explain it. Is Danny pitting? Or is he just trying to break slipstream? I think he's just trying to break slipstream. But for now, Inters is fast enough. And here comes Tierman. I didn't see if he crossed the white line or not. But in he goes. Is this going to be a set of intermediates? <coughs> Meanwhile, Wetui. Oh, a bit of shoving with side effects and Hamza. And Hamza goes off the circuit and uh, gains a lot of time from doing that. Whether he was all, should be allowed to yet because he was pushed off. Otherwise, it's kind of a. Uh, kind of a oh, now Wetui took a wide line. and allowed Hamza to slip up the inside as mediums seem to be working a bit better than in these conditions. Tierman has opted for another set of slicks. This is another set of mediums. Oh, and he's lost the rear, has Hamza. So, he clearly still opting for slick tyres is the game. But Danny's not done that on pure pace. There's definitely some grip advantage he's had. <coughs> I wonder if it's just going to sit on like the crossover point. Where the both tyres are just kind of the same pace. He's not exactly flying away though, is Danny? Three goes where two eight. That's the problem though. You can't. Oh, and Hamza lost the rear again. He's really costing these guys right now because he's constantly making mistakes and it's really dropping him from this next train. And now through goes Watui. He needs to increase that brake bias. Should have figured that one out by now. Especially if you're using ABS. 
Dark has got much better traction than side effects. That traction control really hurts in there. You can't do it without it because he's already on full power. Dark and getting very close to uh, Hamza there. Hamza's very, very weak on the on the entry to corners. Danny's now got a nine tenths gap to Tharlo. And Tharlo's really having to use some overtake. He's really sliding. These inters are really I think, coming to play here. Tharlo's going to be seeing this. Because you know a faster driver than Danny. Surely Tharlo's seen this and going, well, surely the inters are faster. DRS is still enabled. Danny had a bit of a, bit of a nightmare that corner was. So much to gain time, though. Tharlo's had to use all his battery, though, to try and keep up, though. Danny's just saving his. Hey, hey, then with Starlo. Oh, my mic's been muted. My mic's been muted this whole time. Oh, I'm still speaking, right? Oh, it's because the party's crashed, that's why. Right, there we go. I wonder why my, my um, uh, party envoy wasn't working. Um, obviously, the party's decided just to go kaboom. Um, so, yeah, I wasn't on mute the whole time, thank God. Otherwise, I'd do a lot of commentary for nothing. And here comes side effects and uh, uh, side side piss on Jerry then. Side by side, going into turn six and seven. Starts up as in these very greasy conditions. Keeps it on the track, does Jerry. And these two are still pulling away. Tharlo being the quicker driver, but Danny's still holding the lead with these intermediates. But Danny, short, he needs to look at his tyre wear and check those tyres are still in decent nick. Because like I said, he's quite dry for these tyres still. And they're just going to be burning out a bit more. Like I said, the drier the track is, the le least the wear the tyres last on these intermediates. Are they going to make it to the end? That's the question. It, oh, it stopped raining! It stopped raining! Danny's going to have to pit now. He's going to have to pit for slicks now. It stopped raining. So, the Inter's clearly not working. I think what's heard is they've heard this light rain's going to be happening for about 10 minutes. And they've gone, oh, uh, in that case, I'll just stick it on the slicks or pit for new set of slicks and then just go to the end. Danny needs a pit now, I believe. I think Danny needs a pit. Because now Tharlo is right up his arse. Since it stops raining... Tharlo has been much closer to him and he's saved well battery as well. I think Danny needs to pit this lap. I think he is. He is pitting this lap. That's unfortunate. Oh, that was very close. But Danny's had a good stint now on his intermediates. And he's going to hope he's going to come up probably right behind that train. The only good thing is he's going to have the freshest tyres out of everyone to the end of this race. It is a set of softs. So a very aggressive. I would have probably gone mediums, but it's a very aggressive airway to end this race. The, the sauce don't do uh, they only do about eight laps and the flat point they've been eaten alive. So he's gonna come down pretty much last. Here man, because anyway it was all the race, still sitting in P twelve. He did have to pit early. I'm not sure why he pitted so early in the first place. The thing is though, people like Darkin Mustafa still has his still he's all on 17 lap old mediums. He has to pit again. So a lot of these old leaders from the sprint are not even here. Hugo's out. Tierman's last. Mustafa's down in P8 on 17 lap old mediums. I, I don't know why Mustafa didn't pit under that safety car. I have no clue. I don't know why he didn't opt. Dark is round. He's round at turn 4 and 5. He seems to be alright in terms of damage. But yeah, questions continue to bubble. And gets a three-second time penalty. Callum now fighting with Pistol. Callum gets past Pistol. He's now Farlow. He's going to have to do 20 laps on these mediums. I know he had a few laps under the safety car. But that is a long way on those, on those, uh, on those mediums. The hards will be surely at this point of the race start becoming the better tyre because now that gap between Tharlo and Joe was about three seconds. It's now 1.4. So that gap is coming down quite quickly. It's now down to 1.3. Those mediums, they are, they do have a bit of a drop off. These hards are a great tyre. I think that's why we don't see many hard people opting for the hards at the start because it's such a good race tyre. 
you actually want to be on them on the last stint because the, the medium tyre doesn't tend to last especially if you're going to be doing the same amount of distance on the harder tyre as the, as the softer tyre the harder tyre just it, it might be a bit slower for the first 10 laps but those next 10 laps those hards just coming look at that he's not within DRS Tharlo it looks like he might not even win this race I think Tharlo might have to pit <laughs> I generally think he's going to have to pit because he's struggling so much on pace and just catching up DRS enabled again I think Joe might have to leave it for another lap here maybe next lap Got a new fight for the lead. And so, four way fight for the lead. It's almost like a replay of yesterday. The only difference is we're in slightly different conditions and slightly different tyres. Side by side, it's going to be three wide to turn one. Thank God, Callum pulled out of that. Thank bloody goodness. Jerry now taking the lead. Thar oh, doesn't have DRS, unfortunately, but Callum and Jerry do. Actually, no, Jerry didn't even have his DRS. I don't know how that works out. Unless Dar just wasn't using his. Uh, I thought for pistol, couldn't select him. I thought he was there. He was there. Just couldn't get into it. Now Farlow has DRS. He's now going to try and repass Jerry. It's important for Thalo to try and stay ahead as long as he can, especially on these tyres, but I don't know about those tyres. It's like Jerry's had a bit of a struggle on traction, but so has Thalo. But Thalo's used pretty much all his batteries actually into none here. Oh, he's lost the rear, but Jerry's on hot lap mode and Thalo's on medium, and it's just going to give him the extra power. Jerry has taken the lead, but Thalo still hasn't got any penalties. Jerry does. Tharlo, something about his setup, he's losing the rear everywhere. The setup is just not meant to be for these conditions in these races. Might should be a TT merchant, then look a pistol, he's all over the back of him. Look at the traction he's got, Tharlo, he's absolutely fallen. He, he, he hasn't just fallen off a step, he's fallen off a skyscraper. And he's diving back up the inside now of Callum. Uh, again, Tharlo is struggling those rears. Now Callum's now fighting, but he hasn't got the patch death, and neither of them do actually. They're all pretty much flashing the all four of them, apart from Joey. He's going a bit hasty. Got a collision might happen at some point if it keeps continuing like this. Meanwhile, Tierman has flew past side effects. He's a bit of a fast driver, plus he does have five black fresh tyres. It's just following Danny through. Danny's that upper to P8. Next is Watui and Hamza and Mustafa. Not going to be an easy one. Mustafa still on those mediums. 21 laps. Including safety car laps, but 21 laps. Like, that's medium, that's hard tyre length now. It's a very long way on those tyres. He's got your five laps left, fair enough, but should have pitted. He should have pitted, otherwise he'd probably be in a much better condition now than he was now. Hamza's got another penalty. I think this is like his third one. Oh no, the hat is the moment. That's Callum. He's tagged one of the back of the drivers. He's got DRS and some overtake to burn to try and catch back up here. But definitely collision. Our pistol's now leading. Oh, I don't know how this has happened. Oh, this is just a. Uh, Tharlo's just drifting. This is not Tokyo Drift, Tharlo. This is Formula One where sliding is not highly recommended. This is for real racing cars. If it's not a Nissan 350Z drifting around the corner. So, pistol leads then, but penalties in terms of why it's going right now. Farlow is still winning this race. Callum can, can win this race. He is also no penalties on the hard tyres and got no penalties. But he is still. 
in the back of this train. Barlow, every lap these mediums just get a bit worse. The cars are lagging, which is not good. Hamza and Mustafa fighting again. I don't know how Mustafa is still surviving on these tyres. My two having a bit of lag spikes. Darkin gets another penalty. He's on to Soft's ears. Let's say Soft so weirdly. Just notice that the um, the Alpine has more blue on the game than it is in real life because the front nose is normally pink. I thought I was picked up a three ticket time penalty and Callum! Callum is now effect the effective race leader. He can stay here, but does he want to? You know, Pistol might how you have still three warnings. Pistol might have a penalty to be removed. Because he did get pushed off and get a penalty at one point. But does I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to check. Because it's just something I can't just give up. Penalty well, he has got another warning. And he has got another one actually, so yeah. Callum is an effective now race leader with four just over four laps to go. Just under just over three laps to go. But does Callum want to sit here or does he want to stay in for yeah and hope that he will can just pick it up from penalties? Callum just keep it clean. You know Callum he is very good on his he's very good on his penalties. Remember Imola didn't get a penalty in that race. Got him in plenty of positions. I think, or at least it definitely helped him. He's very good on his penalties, Callum. But look at now, Farlow's really struggling. Callum is like, I'm just sit here and save my battery. I have no interest in overtaking unless it's something absolutely obvious. Farlow is going to be, I think it might be Callum's downfall if it happens. Farlow somehow I think he's going to lose the rear and Callum will just get caught in it. I'm calling it there. And Callum is just charging his battery up. Jerry's also charging his battery up. It's down to up to 80% because he's leading. He's seeing the battery and he's up into hot lap. So none in hot lap. Pistol on medium with TRS is enough to get the position done. Up the inside. Oh, the outside gets better traction generally. It does, there you go. Outside line just gets a bit of better grip out there. But Pistol did lose TRS. He's using his overtake, but... He's used all the overtake for no reason whatsoever. Jerry back into none, saving them all that battery. Not even bothering to use battery down there. Pistol and medium is like catching up, but though Jerry did lose a couple of tenths, he's gaining more by saving his battery. This could be crucial to at least get P2, especially with the penalties. Mustafa's also got their penalties. He's somehow actually pulling away from these guys. He's on 25 lap old mediums. This is this is. Oh, there's a tire barrier glitch there. Yeah, uh, glitching out there. It's having a spaz attack. But 25 laps. That's still despite having like two safety cars. Not sure how many safety car laps he's done. He's done at least three safety car laps. That's still like 23, 24, 25 laps on these tires. That's still insane. Those, those tires surely gonna be close to puncture territory. Oh, he's Hamza's gone. Yep. I need to reset the track. That's another five second time penalty. This train has actually been split into two here. Jerry, P1, P, Pistol, P2. Thor is actually now holding Callum up. This is what Callum does not need. If, if this is going to be where it is, Callum, I think, might need to get past Starlow here. Because Starlow is really struggling. He's lost the rear end there as well. Callum, I think you need to get past Starlow now. You have to. If to one to win this race, you can't let Tharlo slow you down. That's using over overtake down there. He's still within three seconds, but Tharlo he's really, really hurting him. Tharlo's tyres, I think, are going. I think Callum's making a move now. Tharlo's also using overtake, but Callum has more. And through goes Callum. Fair enough. He might not have the US down there. But Callum can now burn it. He's now at nose. He's clear. There's a slow McLaren. That's uh, Darky actually retiring. Farlow's actually trying to make a move back. This is not good for Callum. But Callum surely has the grip for turn three. Farlow's going to push him wide. The thing is, Farlow's also got DRS down here as well. But he has got no battery. Callum still has... I'm saying he's used all of his as well. This is not good for Callum. No. 
But these guys are also fighting, slowing each other down as well. And Callum, he might not win this race. He's not going to win this race. He's going to lose it because of Tharlo. No, no, this is not how you want to lose a race now. This is not good. I know Callum's trying to fairway pass, but no, he's going to lose the win. Joey's going to might actually win this race because of it. I think he will. Unbelievable. Tharlo's just got no grip. And he's got a round. And at the worst time possible, Callum Joey wins. Callum P2. P2. He's two tens off. Callum, he had to get past Starlo, but turn one was not the place to do it. He needed to do it at turn three. That's the place to make the overtake. You can't do it at turn one. It just doesn't work. Oh, that's unfortunate for Callum. That's what a race that was. Unbelievable. I just can't believe Callum lost that on because of his penalties. Bloody hell, that was a race now. That was absolutely action packed and everything was just interesting. Keeping the edge on those well on those on those timings. But my god, that was a great race. Uh, I really enjoyed that. It's probably my favourite race to come on the treat so far. But wow. Dolly's tires dropping off. It really hurt Callum. I was worried that was gonna happen. I was thinking, I was hoping that Tharlo's only Tharlo was, Tharlo was his downfall. And there you go, it was. Pistol's messaging me, I think he wants an invite to the party. Oh, uh, part Pistol can't do the interview because he's on the Xbox app. Excellent stuff. So, somehow Tharlo did worse in this race than he did last time. So, Callum will get a podium. I think he'll be disappointed. I think Joey might be able to as well. Try and get the Dutchman and the British driver in. Oh, I think Joey does a... Uh, I don't think Joey can. Could he use the Xbox app. Um, can invite Callum in. I think Joey uses the uh, app, doesn't he? So I don't think I can hear I can interview him either. Yeah, I should do the rundown down the end, that's my mistake. Um I hope somebody else got it in the end. But wow, that, that was uh, what a race that was. Try and get Callum if I can. I did invite him. Come on, Callum. Where are you? Join the dumb party, please. I hope he doesn't join the next minute. He's not going to interview. Might be unhappy. If not, that might be it. Because uh, Joey's uh, uses the app to talk. And so does Pistol. He's oh, Pistol uses it for this race. He doesn't seem to be joining, does Callum? He's just disappeared. So, in that case, I might have to leave it there then. Because uh, it doesn't seem to be talking. So I think I'll leave it there then. So no interviews then. I was hoping for at least two. But nah. In that case no interviews then. Well, that'll be it. Great race that was in the end. I really enjoyed that one. Um, tier 3 next. Join me back in the commentary box again for then tomorrow. With uh, Callum will be alongside me this time. Hopefully. Uh, for tomorrow as well. So come back for us then. Hoping for another thriller there. Probably not expecting as much as today. It was a big ass to beat this but uh, I'm hoping for a good race tomorrow as well for tier 3 thank you very much for watching I hope you enjoyed it but just as much as I did thank you very much for watching goodbye